Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this LibreOffice Writer video, I'd like to show you how to use changes within the context of your document. So what a change is when we're talking about LibreOffice Writer is an edit that's been made to your document that can actually be seen by other people as you pass them that document, but not seen in the way that typing normally is. A change is listed with a date, time, and the person who created the edit and has the ability for someone else to accept that change and finalize it. So when you're passing a document from person to person, it helps to have the change mode enabled so that other people can confirm what you are doing, what you're changing around in the document before finalizing everything and maybe sending it back to you or sending it to a boss, a superior, a teacher, or anyone else. So whenever you want to enable change mode, you have to go up here on the main toolbar where it says record changes or you can alternatively hit control shift and E on your uh, keyboard at the same time. So whenever you have change mode enabled and you start typing it's going to change how your text displays on the screen. For instance if I type change mode enabled you can kind of see that it's almost been changed to a hyperlink but it's not actually a hyperlink it's a background color change and it also has the tooltip that says ins it was inserted by me, Chris's Tutorials, um, at the date and time. So if I want to accept that or anyone else viewing the document wants to accept that change, they can right click it and go to accept change. Uh, likewise, you can delete information and that is also a change. So instead of the information being completely gone from the document, it's kind of giving you a preview of what would be removed if the change is accepted. So we have this deleted marker and whenever somebody wants to go ahead and accept that, you can hit accept change or reject change. The reject change, of course, is going to knock it back to normal and hitting next change moves you to the next modification in the document. So you can move um, ideally pretty fast through all the edits in a large document that's been made so that you can approve everything in a swift manner. Now one thing to note is that it does say who edited the document last. Now how does OpenOffice actually know who was the one editing the document? Well if you go to tools and options you'll have a field for user data and that this user data means whenever this uh, computer account or computer is using LibreOffice Writer include this information as the defaults. Now, when you're hovering over the changes, it's going to put the uh, first name, last name, but there's also other information which can be used elsewhere within OpenOffice, including street, city, state, zip, uh, and email addresses. So good thing to note, especially if you like to use autofill fields inside of the program. But we can go ahead and hit OK there, save it. And if we were to ship this document to somebody else, they would be opening it up and see it in exactly the same manner as we have here. So they'd be able to basically make changes and you can go right click accept change or right click reject change. In that case, it prevents the extra information from being added. Now, one more thing we can mention here is that sometimes you want a document to be protected from random people making the changes especially if you're in a large workplace. So let's say that you wanted only uh, the heads of a certain department like marketing or uh, accounting to be able to make changes to this document. You would go up to file properties and in these tabs, the properties of the document, you can go over to the security tab uh, where it will say record changes and protect that with a password. So now if I was to say type in, uh, let's just use the password eggs, E-G-G-S, hit OK. So back in the main document at this point, because record changes in, is checked and a password has been set, the only thing a user without the password can do is suggest changes to the document. So this is a suggested change and it's like we're typing into the document, but we can't actually edit uh, we can't edit that. We can't accept a change. And we also can't go back to normal typing mode unless we hit record changes. So if I type in X here, uh, then that basically unlocks the document once again. So I can have uh, record changes mode turned off. And then once again, I can accept the changes and reject the changes. 
But without that password, the only thing a user can do is suggest changes to the document. They can't have a say on any final changes, which can be really useful in a larger group or larger organization. So that's all for this video. I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, consider donating to my Patreon account, and I'll see you in my next video.